Hello everyone, my name is David Landry. I'm an employee of Capital Paving. I have been with the company for almost 32 years. I am also the certified safety rep. And today I would like to show you how to do an inspection on a piece of equipment. This is the daily vehicle inspection logbook. It's very easy to fill out. We'll start off with the vehicle ID, which is the unit number of the machine, which is on the arm. This unit number is 2625. Then your name, the date, the hour meter reading, which is inside the cab. We'll go through that once we go into the cab. So the best way to start with an inspection is work from the ground up. We would want to inspect the tires. We would look for damage, blisters, if the tire is flat. While you're on this side of the machine, you would want to make a visual inspection for any leaks. No fluid loss is a good sign. A quick check on all the hoses, make sure everything is intact. You would want to look for any wear points. If there's a leak somewhere on the line, you would want to write that down. If it's serious, you would need to mention it to a foreman. So we would want to do a visual inspection of the coupler, which is located here. Again, we would want to check any hydraulic lines for any moisture leaking, Everything looks good. Again, we would look for any fluid loss. Tires on this side, look for any cracks, blisters. Everything looks good here. The lines on the front of the machine, everything looks good. So then we can proceed to check fluid levels. Using three-point contact, we will step up on the machine. Proceed to open the hood. So checking fluid levels, we would want to check the oil, transmission, hydraulic, coolant. A good time to do a visual inspection to make sure everything is okay. It also points out here, the lubricating points on the machine, this little symbol refers to the operator's manual. So now that we've done a fluid level check, close the hood. Again, three point contact, step down. And this is the operating manuals. This has everything listed in it about fluids, error codes that come up. It's a wealth of information on this particular machine and every piece of equipment will have one of these. Again, three point contact. We will enter the machine. We'll start the machine. We will do an inspection on all the lights to make sure they're working properly. Quick visual check, the front. The back, and I see a problem with the back flasher is not working. And the beacon is working. So now we will do a brake test. So we will start the machine, do the brake test, and then we will do a quick check on the couplers to make sure that they're working properly. With your foot on the brake, disengage the parking brake. Refer to the owner's manual because some machines need to be in a different gear. CAT requires these machines to be in second gear. You will put the machine in forward. Keep your foot on the brake and step on the accelerator. The machine does not move. That means the parking brake is working good. Again, we will apply the parking brake. Now we will lift the front bucket. You want to run it into the dump position. The coupler is engaged properly. We will do the same thing with the back. Quick open the boom. Just open the bucket up, a quick check. The coupler is working. So now we have done most of the inspection on the machine. Now we need to document. So filling out the daily vehicle inspection log, the vehicle ID 2625, inspected by myself, and today's date. The hour meter reading at the time of inspection was 6117. So we have gone through 
all this entire checklist, the engine oil level was fine, hydraulic oil level was fine, coolant level was fine. Lights, we found an issue with the flashers on the back of the machine. So you would put C notes here and defects noted, I will write down rear flashers not working. This is a very important document. It needs to be filled out daily. It's a requirement of capital paving as well as the Ministry of Labor. Fill these documents out every day. It's very important. It protects yourself. It protects your coworkers. It's good for the company. It's just good for everything.